Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today's lesson is a comb flower. We're gonna be using my reusable teaching guide and we're gonna practice on it. Then we also are gonna be using the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paints, which are luscious and bright and pretty. Look at them. We're gonna use the Magenta, Apple Red, Violet Pansy, Wicker White. Our leaves are gonna be Citrus Green and Sap Green. And we're gonna also use some Yellow Ochre and Licorice in the painting. And the brushes are the Folk Art One Stroke Number 12 Flat and number two script liner. So look how pretty this is and the vivid colors you're gonna like. So let me show you how easy it is to practice and paint this. I'm gonna look at my guide. It tells me all the, the sizes and colors that I need. And it also, I'm gonna share with you that the first thing you're gonna paint, let's practice that first. And that's gonna be your stems and your leaves. So I'm gonna come over here with the dampen brush that I have laid on the paper towel to take the excess water out and in my double loader I put sap green and citrus green and I'm going to come back and forth right here and go really quickly to load this come back again and do a light pressure and we're going to start on the chisel edge of this brush now the first thing we do is we put the stem you might go up or you might go down when you're doing your stem and then what you're going to do on the chisel is you put a little bit of pressure and then you lift a little bit of pressure and lift and i'm going to do that follow the arrows and see how you can get those leaves you're going to use um, a baby wipe or a wet paper towel to wipe this with so it stays nice and fresh to practice over and over and we're going to go right here to our project and we're going to do the stems so we know where we're going to put the flowers okay so keep this right next to you to remind yourself what you're doing as far as your strokes are concerned and it's nice because you have my stroke your teacher's stroke right at home with you and so you're just going to practice over and over on top of my stroke and then we're going to come over here and do a little bit of another stem here. Now let's work on these little thin leaves. All right, so I'm gonna come up and I can even tilt it over. That's one of those that we have practiced. Then we're gonna come up here and see how you have that nice shading in there. Okay, so let's start down here, pressure and lift. All right, see how thin we want this to be? Pressure and lift and go right over the second side here. All right. So there you go. It's just kind of fun. A little bit of green and it's going to make these flowers look real good. So let's come back and practice the flowers. Okay, so what's going to happen here? We're going to pick up the purple, violet pansy, and wicker white and we're going to work that in. Okay. So to get the color we're gonna get want today, we are going to then pick up some magenta and work this in. So I still wanna get some more violet pansy, not so much white. But the beauty of this magenta in there gives you a pretty color. So then this is what you wanna do. You wanna try it and see if you like that color, all right? And then we're gonna come right here and follow this again. We're on the chisel, pressure, lift. Pressure more and lift and then light again. So you have to practice that a few times. I even did some over here so you can do pressure from the left and from the right to get those strokes in there. And you can come right here to where I loaded 
to pick up more paint. So see that? I can pick up a little bit more Violet Pansy and make some of them a little darker. See that? You're just going to practice from the short to long. All right? So the short ones help you come from behind the flower. All right? So I'm going to wipe that off. The small one up here is just controlling and practicing to get a thinner little petal. All right? And then we're going to put the center on that. So the first thing is I want you to see these are the sizes that I want to use. So it's about two fingers down is how far you're going to go. So I'm going to pick up all those colors again. Work it in. All right, so the first one here is I'm going to come way down here and pull this up, the first petal. Then I'm going to come right down here. And I'm going to decide I want one here. See that curve a little bit? One here that curves. And then we want a few little ones that come from back here. See that? Okay. All right, so I can go magenta, purple, work that in. Now we can put some dark ones in there. So I'm going to put that up there, a little one in here. Load from that loading area. So I want to put a little bit here, but still have the stem showing through there. Okay. This is a fun little flower. All right, I can put a little bit more magenta in here. So see how pretty those colors look? All right. So I'm going to come in here and do this little one. And I ended up making it tilt a little bit. So I could have that green way up there, the center. So I can come down here a little bit. So I'm going to go like this, get some more paint, and I'm going to have a couple little short guys here. See how pretty all those colors together are? All right, so short there. I'm going to go over a couple here. There we go. All right, so the next step is we're going to come in here and we're going to take a little bit of the licorice, yellow ochre, and magenta, and using this flat brush, we're going to tap down and get some of this look, all right? So I'm going to clean this off my brush. So I'm going to put the yellow ochre, a little bit of magenta, Okay, and a touch of licorice. And that gives you a rusty brown color. A little, you can put a little bit more pink and get towards a burgundy color instead, okay? All right, so then I'm gonna start here with the little one and we're gonna tap and what we want this to look like is a gumdrop in this cone flower, okay? So see, get that shape of a, a little bit of a cone. Then I'm going to come right here and go just like this to get that top. All right, so I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Okay. Now, to make this look really good, we're going to do these little strokes that are going to come down. And what I've done with that is I used a little bit of apple red over this brown mixture. So I take the script liner and get thick paint, all right? And I'm just going to come from here and see how I'm pulling those down. And it's on top of the brown, so it gives you a good color. And they've got those little, like, seeds in the center. And we continue to do these. OK. 
ठीक है I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.